My friend took this picture on the day I told my husband about getting tired of our boring life. We argued so much that we've been separated since then. Whatever I did, our picnics always ended with my mother in a grumpy mood. That's why I usually made plans with my father instead. <laughs> Everyone at high school was so jealous when they saw this photo. You had to have been very lucky to get to see the famous elephant. Going together with the most popular girl in school didn't help either. Dear Moriko, why did you do that? You were so pretty and smart. My eyelids are getting heavy. I hope he lets me sleep tonight. I miss sleeping. Do you see that white thing to the right of the open pit? That thing that looks like a dinosaur fossil. When I was a kid, my dad used to bring me here for some fresh air. The first time we were here, he showed me the white patch of sand and said it used to be a baby dinosaur running from the humans. But it must have been dark, so the baby dinosaur falls into the pit and starves to death. The story made me more scared of the humans on the other side of the pit than of dinosaurs. Maybe that was my dad's intent. He used to say that in those mills and houses on the other side of the pit live humans who turn into animals at night and come and steal things from us. I wish it were those stories that I couldn't remember. Although people on the other side of the pit have left years ago, I never found out who actually lived there. I wish you were here, Dad. We could go to the other side and have a closer look. Hey, hey, looks like you're falling asleep. Open your eyes. This is only the 17th day of no sleeping. Could you turn your face away? Those terrifying red eyes. Why don't you leave me alone? How long are you going to torture me? I want to leave you alone, but I can't. Since long ago when I was a young captain, I couldn't be awake while sailors were asleep. Come on, get up, get out of bed. Don't you have a few days off from work? Go play a little at least. They say the quality of old vinyl are still better than these new stuff. These days, they call it sticky notes. I prefer to call them memoranda. When I was a kid, every time I wanted to go to a classmate's birthday, I would bring one of these. The last time I tried to open the door, I couldn't remember what code I had chosen. I don't feel like thinking about this right now. Maybe sometime later. Hi, Miso. Nice to see you come and not make a noise. Don't worry. Erica will return in a few days and we'll take you back home. I'm sorry I couldn't spend enough time with you. laptop doesn't fit well in this game, so I'm not going to waste my time. I feel 
feel safer with the map. Come to me, my dear kidney stone. What's under the rug? What a photograph. So this fellow Jack was friends with the elephant in the cirque. Why did Jack close up this place for good? What's even more odd is that none of us ever tried to find out why. I remember the last movie shown here was The Wood Elves Battle. When I was a child, this Mr. Juggalo was my favorite actor in fantasy movies. Hey! 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 What are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to stay in the inventory? Stay still! Hello? Please don't hang up. Could you tell me what you disappeared to? What? None of my business. What do you mean you'll come back in a while? You didn't think I'd find you, huh? Well, I found your phone number on one of your spaghetti boxes. You'd written it down on the corner and thrown it in the trash. Ever since the elephant vanished, so did you. Are you in some sort of trouble? What? You don't know what I'm talking about. Frankly, I don't trust you anymore. Who trusts a man who prefers his taste with spaghetti to my pancakes? Don't hang up. Hold on. Hello? Hello? Damn it. Hi, little girl. What's your name? I don't think I've ever seen you around here. <clears throat> Don't want to talk to me? Don't be scared. I live in this building. I can't talk to you because you don't have children. Even if I knew the lady behind this door, I wouldn't approach her when she is so angry. Kardash has to make up a new system every time to identify who knocks at his door. Kardash? I'm not gonna let anyone make that much of a record into my own. He must have a hidden clue somewhere in the building. I think he put up a poster somewhere. I think I should probably find some sort of numbers on the poster. If you're new, you may try and read this to get the news. Little would you know, this newspaper has been here for weeks. I totally remember the day Jack put up this poster. I even bought the text myself. Jack is always proud that his son, Arash, followed a path that he was not able to follow. He went to a different continent a few years ago and is working on his second movie now. Hey, Jack. Oh, I'm sure he's going to make a remark about my name. Welcome back. Any news from your name? Or is it still playing hide and seek? What did I just tell you? Looks like it's now right where it belongs. But I have to remind you, it is a secret. I don't want the neighbors to hear about it. Sure, sure. No secret leaves this house. Especially one about the quietest resident we've ever had here. Well, I guess that's true. For the last six months, I'm the only person who's entered my flat.
If my name is scared of dogs like I am, it wouldn't have escaped that way. Hi, Marta. Are you still looking for your cat? I can't take this anymore. How could a cat go straight up a tree and never come down? He must have come down when you weren't looking. No way. I waited under that tree for hours. I was dizzy for days. I looked up at it so long. A cat can disappear in a blink of an eye. Especially male cats who forget their owners this time of year. But he'll be back. My cat wasn't like that. He'd never go more than 100 yards from here. Also, how would he get out with that dog guarding the end of the alley? I walk these streets a lot. If I see him, I'll bring him back. That would be so kind of you. I hope you find your name soon, too. I have heard a lot about your ordeal. Yeah, thanks. No one was supposed to know about my problem. I know who's been talking. Was I falling asleep? <sighs> no. Just my eyes going blurry. Perhaps I will have to drag myself like a semi-conscious corpse through life forever and forget the joy of sleeping. I wish I could collapse right here and no one would bother me for a few days. What if I fall in and hit my head once and lost a part of my memory? Then why do I not forget other things? If someone asked my name right now, I might confuse everything. Miss Mizuki? Miss Mizuki? Hello? Uh, Miss Mizuki, can you hear me? Oh, sorry. I thought you were talking to someone else. Well, let's get back on topic. Can you tell me to whom Wagner wrote of his fascination with Schopenhauer and Tristan? Franz Liszt. Huh, impressive. Now tell me, Wagner's wife wrote that he remained unsatisfied with which opera? Townhouse her? Huh, how did you know? I hope a little sugar won't affect my brain. Parsifal, an opera in three acts. Well, enough. I don't think I'm ready to memorize the whole history of music. Many years ago, Mayor Malvin erected the Tanuki statue and named the square the Climbing Star Square. I think many people would like to have a Tanuki as their town symbol. All that these cats see from up on the roof. By the way, I've been meaning to ask you something. I just remembered as I saw the closed doors of the movie theater. What is it? I hope you're not adding something new to my responsibilities. Why did you stop the weekly film screenings there? Because we couldn't get the money to buy a new player. Also, the neighbors aren't very sociable. It's hard to get them all together at the same time. I remember you had a collection of the best 35mm films. Let's set it up again. I love old technology. A friend of mine borrowed them and never gave them back. It ruined our friendship. Why don't you go to his house and ask for your films? Ah, I'm over it now. No time for old films. But if you want them so much, why don't you go yourself? Take this road straight up until you get to the square. His house is one of the first houses. It's got a blue door and there's a large sign hanging on its wall. Oh, you again. Well, at least you've hidden those bloody eyes of yours behind shades. Don't worry. I know everything. I know you can't sleep anymore since you saw me that night underneath your bed. 
And you can't tell anyone. Someone who doesn't remember her own name and sees an invisible old man will end up in the madhouse. You've trapped me. How can I get rid of this insomnia? Your sleep is tied to mine. As long as I'm awake, you're awake. But worry not, a sailor who stared into the horizon so long that her eyes have turned into the color of the sunset can endure much more than this. If it wasn't for this elephant that vanished one night from the zoo without a trace, maybe our town's name would have never gotten into the newspapers. After breaking into the house, I'd better not touch anything before meeting the owner. After breaking into the Snow in a war zone. What else could go wrong? They must have been a rich family to have their portraits painted. I love the feel of this painting. I'm not intruding. The door was open. I was wondering if... Of course. Come in, my dear. Ah, but of course you're not intruding. After all, we know each other. We do? Oh! Oh, yes. You own the restaurant on 20th Street. Yes, that's right. I lived a very different life back then. Did you know that I employed over 30 people in that restaurant? And I only ever met two of them? The young man I made manager, and... Me? Wow. Yeah, I remember. Actually, I remember the day I met you well. It was my 20th birthday. So, it was... Five years, four months, and two days ago. Ah, uh, 25. Wonderful. I remember you didn't want to get any smarter. You still have a good memory. Intelligence was the only thing I was sure of in myself back then. I knew you were very smart from the first moment I saw you at the door holding a tray. I'd like to test you. May I? Sure. I'm curious how I'd score. It's been a while since I had to be smart. When I retired, I picked up this hobby of connecting things together and making... strange stuff. See this noisy TV? With a secret code, you can connect it to the global TV network of 100 years ago. Are you kidding? There was no TV a hundred years ago. Don't doubt an old man who's got a death ticket in his hand. TV or not, the waves are still floating in the air. Maybe you're right. Let me have a closer look at your inventions. It might come in handy someday. Glad to see these things still exist in the world. I should probably match these in a certain way. They must have been a rich family to have their portraits painted. Snow in a war zone. What else could go wrong? I love the feel of this painting.
Oh. The threads revealed the teddy bear. Looks like I have come close to solving the dilemma. Why isn't his belly soft like a teddy bear's? Ugh, the keypad is not functioning right now. Ugh. Order is the only thing you can't see in how this place is organized. Innocent, inanimate eyes. Are you trying to tell me something? I can't believe it. It's always earthquakes on TV. Come over here, girl. Watch what you're going to see all the time until you get to my age. How did this happen? What's strange about it? Don't you ever watch news? I mean, how did you connect those things, and how are we watching footage from 100 years ago? All that matters is that you solved it. Oh, did you hear that? Something fell. I think it's the lingering effects of quake waves. Seriously, I'm not buying this anymore. Let me have a look around your flat and see what's going on. Huh, lucky this thing fell. So the films were hidden here all alone. If I don't say anything, he won't notice they are missing. By the way, I've been meaning to ask you something. I just remembered as I saw the clothes. What is it? White. Be ah. Hey, ah. hey, Jack, can you believe your friend used to be my boss? No way. What a small world. So you were able to use your relationship to get the films? Well, I used my smarts. By the way, you wouldn't believe the things that happened in this house. I do believe. If there's one thing I can say for certain, it's that old man is crazy. Anyway, thanks for returning my collection. Didn't want to admit how much I miss these silly old things. Remember, you promised to restart the movie theater as soon as possible. I didn't promise anything, but truth be told, when I held those films again and smelled their scent, I was pretty tempted to start screening again. girl <clears throat> would you like a donut from mr. donut I love those donuts don't tell me mom I had one I won't don't worry are you looking for mr. spaghetti too mr. who has someone disappeared again didn't you hear his wife shouting on the phone he was the only neighbor without children but I was friends with him because he liked animals and whenever he made spaghetti, he would bring you some. I did hear his wife, but thought it was just a domestic quarrel. Sounds like an interesting man. Do you miss him? Of course I miss him. 
How are you living in this building and still didn't realize Mr. Spaghetti ran off? Honestly, I don't know. I haven't been paying a lot of attention. Uh-huh. Well, if he comes back, could you give him this film canister? We're moving out. Sure. By the way, I should bring you some homemade donuts. Then you'll have two grown-up friends, Mr. Spaghetti and Miss Donut. It might be a good idea to have a look inside this box. I wish I could see what's recorded on this reel. Any news about Mr. Spaghetti? Actually, no. But I haven't forgotten about your donuts. What type of donut did you say you liked? The traditional ones. Not the chocolate ones, though. Any news about uh, the... Installing your door is hard to figure out. That's why I have a special welcoming message taped. Well, anything I can do for you? Nothing especially. I just want to see what you look like now since I last saw you. Safe to say you're still deep into your electronics. You did all that work just to see my face. Don't you want to see one of my greatest inventions? What is it? It looks pretty finished. All the screws are in. Yes, it's nearly done. I just need to add four frequencies to bring this metal creature to life. And then what will it do? I've named it the Nature DGMF Machine. It can receive a series of frequencies, encode them, and... Uh, forget it. It's of no use to you. It has no use for me. I just want to make it and put it in the corner. Well, I have no idea what it does. But I'll take it off your hands. It won't be done until I find the four frequencies. I'm tired of staring at the design sheet. The elephant even thought of signing his photograph. Remember, you promised to restart the movie theater as soon as possible. I didn't promise anything, but... talk about music or do you need anything? Could I please get some flour? I'm in a rush, but I'll be back someday to talk art. Famous opera singer? La, Is it true you resigned recently? La, la, la. Yes, that's me. And yes, it's true. I got tired of the fame and glamour. I'd rather sing on the streets for my own sake and to make the average passerby feel a little happier. But you know how people are. They started making up stories about me. Yes, there was a rumor going about you. They said you fell asleep under a blind willow tree, and when you woke up, you realize tiny flies had crawled into your mouth, and you'd lose your voice in a matter of months. A very creative rumor indeed. I don't even think a blind willow really exists. But the flies are a very real possibility. They're all around us right now, waiting for me to open my mouth. Well, since you haven't lost your voice, maybe you can help me? 
I've got this frequency diagram here. Think you could sing it? I've heard you can create sounds so vivid that you could touch them. Now that one isn't a rumor. <laughs> Some people like to keep my songs in glass displays. Holding them for the day, they'll have a device that can replay them. Give me a diagram to read. It would be my pleasure. This is the diagram that shows the frequencies. La <laughs> Here, drink some orange juice. Are the frequencies. Oh, hey, why are you going up? Even the alley is frightening, let alone inside that door. I shouldn't go in before knowing more. It's best if Marta doesn't see her cat in this shape. Although, I think the cat is happier here. The elephant is missing and it's an unsolved case. I do hope they can't find him. Hey, do you know where the elephant might be? Honestly, I think the man who's always cooking spaghetti has something to do with it. Uh, oh, no! You tricked me into blurting out secrets! Go away now! The house with the green roof and- Hey, look, I deserve this prize. Don't you dare take my place. Huh. Good luck. You do remember you're not supposed to talk about that secret with anyone, right? Looks like you need reminding. You mean you really think something might slip from my mouth? Oh, I had no idea he was so successful. He has a gig at such a popular venue. See what film Mr. Spaghetti gave to the little girl. She probably had no way of actually watching it. first attempt in using editing techniques. It reminds me of my lost cat. I still dream of her. Looks like it's every time.
This is the diagram that shows the frequencies. La! <coughs> Here, drink some orange juice. How could a human have sung these frequencies? How did you find these? Look how desperate they are to get into the machine. What would you have done without me? Chasing the birds and bees for the frequencies? Yeah, yeah. Don't act like you're not getting anything out of this. Next time you come over, the machine will be ready and you can take it with you to show off. I hate splittering. This looks like a good place to plant new seeds. Looks like it's been a while since any water has been running down this bathroom sink. Maybe the pipes are broken. I wish I could get small enough to get in and see what's going on. I'm one of your neighbors. Listen, Mom, I'm not interested in getting to know strangers, relatives, or anyone, especially neighbors. Just leave me alone. I've learned this spy trick from children's books. It might work. I should tell the little girl that her homemade donut will take a little longer to make now. Mr. Romero, I've missed you. Ah, Mizuki. I was thinking about you last night on the beach. It's been months since you last sat with me by the fire. That's true. With insomnia that I have, I don't know why I didn't think of spending those sleepless hours with you on the beach. Are you also sleepless because of the noise coming from your neighbor's fridge? Oh, <laughs> no. Just too many thoughts and worries. Or maybe I miss my mother and sister. And the fire on the beach makes that even worse. Mizuki, you know well that your family really... No, oh, forget it. You're right, Mr. Romero. I never had a good family like you did. How are they, by the way? Everyone is well. They're all in the city except for Henry, who is spending his school break here with me. He should be somewhere around here. You know, he thinks about his friends all the time after that incident. Hello, Niall. Someone must have finally found a way to get you out of the lab. It's really hard to get me away from there. I only needed a few more microbes on the canvas to finish my master work. But when Ray says let's go to the beach, then we gotta go to the beach. You can't decline the invitation when Mr. Armero starts a beach bonfire. All too true. I bet if there was an international championship for it, Chris would win with a large margin. By the way, when Ray leaves, are you going to stay here? For a while, yes. I have a confidential project under the works that still needs some time. Is it about infectious diseases? No. It's related to animals and their language. Uh, forget it. As I said, it's confidential. Ray, heard you're going to CERN for an internship. Yes. 
How fast you all heard. It's a great opportunity and I'm very excited, but I think I'm gonna miss it here. You knew you had to go somewhere far from the first day you decided to work on particle physics. Yes, I knew. But it all became real last night when I was lying next to the fire on the beach. I felt it would be so hard to leave this place. How does Niall feel about this in your tea breaks? He's immersed himself in his paintings and microbes. He might even forget what tea tastes like in a week. It's a weird combination, being a painter and a physician. Yeah, I was always worried, though, that his microbes might mix up with my particles. Superb! The new issue of Tips and Tricks magazine! Oh! Forgot to check if the elephant's footprints are left on the flower. <laughs> Kardash is a funny creative man. Look how he managed to send me a message. As our friend said, maybe I should take it and brag about it. I searched about with the DTMF and all the results were about telephone tones and their signals. <sighs> I wish you were more of a musical invention. The old trick worked! But anyone could see the footprints and find out where the elephant is hiding. I should alert them. Hey, the elephant is in danger. I'm not joking. I must find another way to communicate with this loner. There's always a ball of... I wish her a cleaner. If I could clean the sand out, I bet the ocean sound would come out. I've needed a funnel for a long time, but I can't take somebody else's. Did you come to the beach by yourself today? I've seen you and your mother a couple of times when I passed by there. Yes. I don't know where my mother is. The fire is burning out and she has to take me home. Don't mean to be rude, but I really don't want to talk. I'd rather save my energy. sharp thing to cut it off. I should pick it up before it's gone. An old flag could at least be used for cleaning. Funny idea, but maybe later. Hi Henry, how's it going? I just saw your dad in the square. Yeah, he was on the beach till dawn playing with fire. How are you? What are you up to these days? Do you still write stories like that one? Henry does not have an oven, but he does have a microwave. No, not anymore. I'm spending most of my time on a book for a friend called My Swimming Day. Oh, Henry. You have to forget about that. That incident wasn't your fault. Kay should have taken the dangers of the sea seriously. But it was me who suggested playing by the sea. I could have saved him. You are a math genius. I know better than anyone else that if you calculate your speed, the wind's gust, and the distances, it would have been impossible for you to get ahead of that massive wave. You may be right. When the wave lifted him up and brought him close, I still couldn't do anything.
Why are you following me? Can't you find someone else to stay up with you? Yeah, don't walk too fast. To tell you the truth, I've built this place myself. I don't think I can let you go anytime soon. I'm full of energy, and I don't know anyone else. I love copper pots and plates, but this looks incomplete. I should save it before it breaks, like all other things here. To dear Fred, <laughs> can you believe this vinyl belongs to my high school close friend for Han? He is a music enthusiast, and it's strange he left this here amongst this junk. Oh no, the little girl has moved out sooner than I thought they would. I couldn't keep my promise. knows his stuff. The device is now full of the frequencies coming from that room. The title next to the signature. Bizarre combination, I know. Now I know why Farhad left that vinyl in the lighthouse. He only listens to Bach piano pieces if they were played by Glenn Gold. I'm one of the neighbors. What do you want? There's something important I have to tell you. Don't hang up. I know where the elephant is. What? Uh, what elephant? You can't hide it from me. I know you're hiding the elephant in your house. There are people looking for him, but I only want to help. Oh, well you got me. Just come over before you blab your mouth all over the town. I'll open the door for you only if you come alone. I'm glad he finally opened the door. Sorry to bother you, I just wanted to alert you. Yes, I suppose I should try harder to be discreet about the elephant's whereabouts. Someone could have seen the footprint. That was you then, eh? It's not very nice to pour flour in front of people's doors. Very happy to see my Miranda is still in use. Hello, I'm glad- Yes, you... uh, some- that was- Everyone is looking for you and you're sitting on your ass blowing in a teapot. What? What happened? I didn't get a word he said. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, so, Hinda. Swan Kinopon, Sor, Inuskurubam Kinobot Kare. This seems to be Miss Thurber's cat, right? Seems that black cats are quite naughty this year and run away a lot from their homes. Hey, 
Go back to your home once you eat your spaghetti. The woman in the photo is one of the best counselors in the whole world. She has just arrived to the city and is working here for free. It might be a good idea for you to go and see her. Maybe she could fix your nosiness. For free? Everyone will be pouring into her office in a few days, even if they don't have any problems. Hello! Welcome to our house! What? Now a talking moose head. Don't you think it's even stranger that I'm talking in your language? In any case, if you knew this man, you would know he wouldn't mount a lifeless head over the fireplace. I prefer not to look for a reason behind odd things anymore. I can't believe this. What? So? The elephant is trying to talk, right? You understand what it says? Yes. So far he's been able to change his dimensions, and soon enough he'll be able to speak better than you and I. Right now, he has a request for you. What's his request? And could you please tell him that I came here to ask him to be careful so that he wouldn't end up in the circus again? He says to speed up his becoming human, he needs a potion that only his friend knows how to make. Here, this is the friend's business card. Will you get the potion for him? You're a good driver. If I had time, I'd get a ride with you. Please don't distract him. If he gets into an accident, it ruins all my efforts. Hello, my name is Mizuki. A friend suggested I come and speak with you. You might remember him. The man who loves spaghetti. <laughs> oh, yes. Of course I remember him. He was a very strange case indeed. I can't say too much because of patient confidentiality, but I can tell you that if he hadn't been treated, he could have ended up thinking he was a piece of meat <laughs> alone inside a pile of spaghetti. Oh, wow. I had no idea. Well, I won't mention it to him. I'm so sorry about the state of this office. I've just arrived here and haven't set things up yet. <laughs> well, I'm glad to be one of your first patients. I'm listening. Recently, every once in a while, I forget my name. And only my own name, and no one else's, and nothing else, not even <laughs> addresses or dates. Do you think this might be connected to a more serious disease? I don't think these symptoms suggest you're suffering from a disease. Would you please tell me more about your life? My name is Mizuki. I am 25 <laughs> years old, and I separated from my husband a few years back. I have to get a for her, so I'm a research on a problem with my I have been traveling for so long, and I don't today. Hmm. Interesting you didn't yawn. I sure felt like it. I had no idea I had such a boring life until I recalled it all aloud. To me, no <laughs> life is ordinary or boring. There's always something fascinating in it. I think that's enough for today. I just have a request. Please. If you recall any event that has to do with names, your name, somebody else's <laughs> name, the name of a pet, the name of a place you visited, a nickname, any name-based memory at all, I'd like you to tell me about it. Absolutely. Thank you for your time. See you again. Why hasn't he bought three pots the same size? This is Escher's metamorphosis. The first sign that I'm at the right place. Hello, may I see Mr. Dabchick for a few minutes? Are you looking for a job? No, I didn't even know this place existed. A friend has sent me for an important matter. I'm afraid I can't let in someone who doesn't know who we are. Certainly not without an appointment. 
You have to understand, we are very organized in this office. But I know where this place is now. I know the person sitting in that room. I have to stick with the appointment system. Organization is crucial in this business. Right, yeah. I'm sure you're so organized. You're probably subscribed to Functionally Monthly. You don't believe me? Go ahead, look around and see if you can find anything out of place. I'm afraid I can't let in someone who doesn't know who we are. Funny idea, but maybe later. Do you expect me to go and grab the camera without his permission? Hello, Mr. Dabchik? Hello, yes. Are you looking for a job? The last appointment slot began 15 minutes ago, so you're very late. That will be considered negative points. Oh, no. I'm here because a big gray friend of yours has sent me to look for a potion. He's in hiding. Oh dear, Phil. When he was in the circus, I had my agents help me change his size. But I haven't heard from him since his escape. He wants to complete the process of becoming a human. Yes, it seems like it. Although he still speaks an elfin language. Ah, uh, hold on. This god doesn't have his signature on it. I'm afraid I can't give you the potion without making sure this is really from Phil. What? Just go ask Phil to sign the card. Authentication is very important to me. I'm tired of this. Elephant could just try to learn my language if we're to be friends. Kind Horace Kin. Could you ask the elephant to sign the card? Dabchik said he needs to see a signature. You actually got to see Dabchik. You are relentless. But be realistic. Even if I ask the elephant to sign, how can he hold the pen with his large fingers? He could pick up a needle with his trunk. Sounds like you're just making excuses. Go and find a way to get that potion. I bet you can carve anything really fast, right? Yes, I can. Would you like to see me carve this guy's name on a potato? But these works are from when I was five. If you want to see my skills, look at my hand for just three seconds. Wow, good job! I have to admit, it's nicely done. And the last step for making a potato stamp. It's ready. I doubt that you could tell this is stamped and not signed. I'm no 
little bird expert, but should a dab chick be palm size? You went to the boss's office without permission, and now you are making fun of his size? You are lucky you are not looking for a job here. Here's the card. All signed. Hmm. Sort of looks like a stamp. But it does look like his signature. Okay. I'll press the button and you can pick up the potion from the glass cabinet. You're so kind. Are there any usage instructions? He knows how to use it. Just don't ever think of trying this on humans as a prank. It only works for animals or humans who are in the process of changing species. Are you sure Phil's in the right stage for this? I think he is. Most probably. Maybe. I don't know. Pick up that camera to be sure. The photos can show you the outcome of the process. I'm sure Phil will be happy to see this. You can take artsy photos with this camera. found the humanimal potion for you. Can't wait to see what happens when you drink it. Why aren't you taking it? Isn't this what you wanted? I have to admit, I was lying that the elephant is looking for the humanimal potion. I just wanted to send you on a wild goose chase. I'm tired of this. Elf keep. Could you please explain why you sent me looking for the potion when the elephant didn't need it at all? I didn't expect anyone to come and see me. I'm used to being alone. So I wanted to make you go away as soon as possible. I honestly didn't think you'd get to dab chick. You sent me on a goose chase so you could keep making spaghetti. Yes, cooking spaghetti is a delicate operation and I have devoted myself to this heart. No way. The elephant is half human. That's why he's always spending his time here. Hey, 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 I don't want you photographing my personal life. If you really like photography, go down this road and you'll see a 200-year-old tree. You can take as many photos of that as you want. I already said the camera has a few negatives left. Hi, Scarecrow. Maybe you can talk too. Of course I can, but I'm not supposed to. How come the owls are not afraid of you? I shouldn't speak. Otherwise, I'd have to stay a Scarecrow even longer. Is the camera working properly? This scarecrow had been a bird that has turned into a scarecrow instead of a human? Having such bad luck, I understand why it does not feel like talking. Look at them with their big eyes staring at me. I already... I hope he's not a ghost. For me, an invisible man is more acceptable. Still trying to get rid of me? A good sleep is what I've needed for days now. So, yes, 
I will find a way. It's getting chilly. I thought I took the fire. Thank you. I've stared at the sea so long, I think I'm turning into a fish. It'd be easier to talk to them then, don't you think? I haven't had much experience with that. Aren't you bored of sitting here every day? Don't you want some change? I do. Sometimes I daydream about cutting my feet with a sharp knife, growing fins, and diving into the sea. That's a horrifying fantasy. I didn't mean a big change like that. Maybe you should ask your mother to take you to a warm, sunny city for a while. Even harder than cutting my own feet is to cut my mother out of this town that she loves so much. Well, I hope you feel better the next time I see you. I might be swimming next time, further and further into the horizon. I can't believe my eyes. These mythical creatures are real. Now I know why he wanted to cut his legs. So, any human could be in the process of transforming into an animal. I think this drug might make you feel better. I hope it doesn't hurt him. I'm curious to see what happens. This bottle looks familiar. I think a special friend of mine had it. I have no options. I will trust you and drink it. fish in front of me? I hope he knows how to swim. The ocean is too deep for him here. I hope this wasn't intended for cutting a limb. is this little sack hiding among the ropes? Incredible! My grandfather used to say that sailors put their magic tobaccos, but he also said ordinary people shouldn't use them. Still trying to get rid of me? A good sleep is what I've needed for days now. So, yes, I will find a way. If you promise to leave me alone, I will give you something I'm sure you'll like. Sure, if it's something useful, you can count on the words of an old sailor. How can you have such a precious thing? These rookie sailors are unable to hide such valuable things. I hope I won't see you around my bed anymore. Please. For sure. Now, let me do a quick sniff to make sure this is an original tobacco. To be honest with you, I still can't believe you were able to find such a thing. Are you feeling good? Hey, where are you? This is the strangest tobacco I've ever seen, and I can't believe my nose. Can I nap easily now? I really miss seeing a dream. The truth is in your own mind. Your dreams. And they will all come to you in a forest with big cats singing silent songs. Shame on me. What I've done to this poor man. He's out of his mind. <laughs> What just happened? It seems the tobacco was really magical. My warm, comfy bed. I will come to you soon. Hi, Aunt 
Mom T. How's it going? If you cared about your poor aunt, I wouldn't be sitting here right now. What do you mean? I always ask how you are. How's that gonna help me? Other people put their poor aunts on their back and take them around, but you don't. You've become so thin I fear to sit on your back. You might fall on your head and lose that last bit of your memory. You've never accepted that I have my own life to live. Then go live your life and stop bothering me! <laughs> Dear Aunt, did you see my dad on your trip to the city? How's he doing? Your poor dad doesn't call you because he's afraid of your mother and sister. I never understood what's going on with you all. Hi, Peter. Mm. Great, you're in a bad mood, which means I'm in for a really boring conversation. I can't believe you used to hang out so much. I can't help it. First I check the weather forecast, and it says there's not going to be a typhoon for at least two weeks. Which means... no zoo for me. That really isn't a big deal. Then, I had a realization. I haven't been invited to a party, or social event, not even a funeral, for I don't know how long. I knew that black suit would bring you bad luck. So I drank everything I had in the fridge. I even drank the two cans of beer I keep in my coat pockets for the zoo. And now you want to drink everything you find here, right? Yes, but I'm broke. Say, you're friends with Vanya, aren't you? I could really go for one of her peanut punches. I'll see what I can do, but only because you're driving me crazy. I'm impressed with your taste of music every time I come here. It must be why I never find a free table. Oh, that is so kind of you. You're one of our most favorite customers. Although it seems like there's a lot on your mind these days. It's best if I don't talk about my problems. I don't want to ruin the good mood your cafe puts me in. Do as you please. Enjoy. Could I ask a favor? Of course, we do whatever you need. Could you make a cup of that amazing peanut punch for my friend Peter over there? I'd love to, sweetie, but I can't do this for free anymore. Every day he brings a new friend, and he has many friends. I should put a no freebie sign up there. If he gets what he wants, he might take off and free up space for customers. I know. Actually, Kathleen and Stephanie are coming in a few hours for their weekly honey pie ritual. But I don't know why today. I really don't want to do him any favors for nothing in return. Oh god, they're coming? i love to see them. Then I really do have to find a way to make our dear friend go away. Let me know what you can get out of him to pay for his order. What happened? Any good news? Where's that punch? She's not giving you freebies anymore. No punch until you pay. Peter, why don't you try looking for a job instead of wasting all your time in cafes and bars? Actually, I'm just taking a break between two very important jobs. Believe me. Cool. Is that you? I thought I'd never see you again. Yes, Mizuki. And I'm sure if you did, you never thought it would be here of all places. I tried hard to bring you here. I wanted to thank you for taking care of my need tech. And my secret. Don't worry about it. But I'm not sure what secret you're talking about. Maybe you didn't realize it was a secret. 
If I had told anybody, they wouldn't believe it. You were the one everyone was jealous of. It might have seemed that way. The jealousy has taken over my entire being. It emptied me from the inside. I became nothing. Aren't you scared being alone in this forest? I don't know. I have many cats here with me. They're a bit timid, so that's why they are coming up to say hello. They're over there. Seriously? How do you find them food in a place like this? They eat numbers. They call them number-eating cats. You know how much I loved math. I was playing with numbers here, and this happened. <laughs> yes, I remember. You were a math genius in school. But I don't understand. How can cats eat numbers? You'll see them as you go forward, and see it. They actually really like it. And I've gone quite bad. <laughs> anyway. He's strong by any time. It was great seeing you again. Goodbye, Mizuki. I think I've seen this device in the newspaper articles about the city of man eating cats. There are some weird noises coming out of this. It sounds like all the forest animals have recorded themselves in here. I have tied it so tight that I can't pick it up again. Everyone will be pouring into your office in a few days, even if they don't have any problems. I had a dream, and I remembered a memory about names from the time I lived in the school dorm. Tell me. Maybe we'll find a clue there. <laughs> in our school, there was a girl, by far the prettiest and the most popular one. A lot of other students worshipped her. But one night, all of a sudden, she killed herself in the forest. <laughs> Must have been horrible for all of you to hear about it. So, how is this related to names? Well, a few days before her suicide, she gave me her name tag and asked me to take care of it. She said <laughs> she didn't want a monkey to run off with it. Was she joking? She didn't look like she was joking. Also, we were not very close. Interesting. What happened to the name tag? I still have it. It's next to my own name tag in a safe box. Could you bring it here next time? <laughs> we are finally heading toward a solution, and if things go as planned, we might be able to determine a link to your name problem. How is this empty? I don't have jewelry to worry about, but I'm sure our name tags were in it. Something strange has happened. The name tags have vanished. That fits well with my hypothesis. The name tags are relevant here. You mean, they are related to why I'm forgetting my name? Precisely. Now, I know this might come as a surprise to you, but 
I believe a very intelligent monkey has stolen your name tags. You're wrong about that, I'm afraid. I've seen so many strange things recently that nothing surprises me. You should check everywhere, especially places you wouldn't think to check, like paths outside the town or car scrapyards, those sorts of places. You mean the monkey might be hiding in old rusty cars? It is possible. Although monkeys prefer dark and quiet places. Now, I think it's best you make a start. <laughs> I have a lot of work to do here. Otherwise, I would go with you. The lake of 200 frogs? It doesn't look that crowded. Could be used to decorate the house. It was hiding well within the branches. I always loved going to bed and hearing frogs sing in the pond. Now I have a bucket full of clean, fresh water. Which way are you pointing your ship to? I'm going towards a Japanese port. I've come half the way from Ancuria. I have to get to Japan before another storm hits. How long have you been traveling? You look tired. I haven't left the wheel, even for a second, since September 1945. Just hours after the war was over, I brought all the baseball bats to the ship and took off. Baseball bats? Why bats? And why are you holding one? They made us practice hard and hit balls that had human brains in them. These bats have been used wrong. I have to bring them back to their right place. You've been on these waters for so long. You've turned into the colors of the ocean. You must love the ocean, right? Before setting sail, I hadn't seen it for eight years. We just kept hitting and sweating. The sound of fallen bodies filled up my ears. I couldn't hear the waves anymore. I might be able to help you get home sooner. I doubt it. Hurry! I should pick it up before the dragon bites me. Don't be scared, little dragon. You look old, just like these cars. This must be an antique pocket watch. It's just like the one Barbara's grandpa had. If he was alive, he would tell us many funny memories about it. people should know how it's going for me. By the way, aren't you supposed to be on a holiday? Yeah, we, uh, we have tickets for next week. Straight to the South Pole. I'm kind of nervous. I'm not really sure if we should go. If you don't go with him, I will. It'll be permanent daytime there for the next six months. Best thing for a sleepless person like me. For an enzomaniac, you mean. <laughs> I wanted to tell him we should go somewhere else, but my grandfather told me you could find the most beautiful ice flower in the South Pole. That's all you're looking forward to? You have some low expectations for this trip.
If I had made some holes in bamboo stick, I could have played it. Wait until I'm gone before going over my stuff. Wait until I'm... Hi, Scarecrow. Maybe you can talk too. Of course I can, but I'm not supposed to. Look at them with their big eyes staring at me. Hello. I haven't seen you around here. Are you new? Yes. I've been sent here from the capital to help you find the elephant. Seriously? And how are you going to do that? We have devices that can record and translate human languages to animal languages and vice versa. We have successfully used such devices in the city of man-eating cats. You must have heard of that one. Of course I have. So, where have you installed the translating devices? I have orders to keep the location secret until the matter is solved. That's smart. I have to move quickly and keep Phil out of danger. <laughs> Could I ask a favor? Of course. Could you make up? Uh, if you get I oh, let me know what. I better clean this before Vanya sees it. Peter, what are you going to do about the mess you've made? Just leave? Don't want to say anything? <laughs> all right, all right, just go away. I had no idea Peter already had a lot to drink. I wouldn't have insisted on another round. Don't worry about it, sweetie. Just promise me you'd come by on a quiet day so we could have a proper chat. I've just gotten a couple of great albums by the Jazz Messengers and Art Blakely, and I'd love to listen to them with you. Are you talking in human language? Oh, the defense's language learners, especially when a translator makes noises right next to them. So, this is one of those notorious translators. And that came and set it up recently. We used it as much as we could, and now we can understand what you're saying. Scarecrow, maybe you can talk too. Of course I can, but I'm not supposed to. How come the owls are not afraid of you? I shouldn't speak. Otherwise, I'd have to stay a scarecrow even longer. He thinks he shouldn't talk in front of humans. Let's read out his performance as a scarecrow. But he talks a lot with us. He's a real motorman. You know what he keeps saying? He says he used to be a phoenix. But a curse turned him into a scarecrow. We think he is just saying nonsense to feel better about scaring other birds. I have longed for it for years. Did this girl know what I wanted? Or did she just do it out of luck? Uh, 
am I going to transform into something else and know nothing about it? The only thing left from the scarecrow is this tiny hole. I'm tired of this. I will think we just try to learn my language of words to be friends. I'm tired of this. I hope this translator device can translate human into, uh, elephant. Dear Mr. Elephant, could you please kindly blow into the seashell? Thank you. So much for the translator device. Put the seashell in your ear. I'm sure the voice of the ocean will relieve your exhaustion. The sound of the sea took the soldier away. I hope his memories of the war also disappeared. It's still smooth and firm after all these years. Soldiers are buried here. It looks like these belong to soldiers who died decades ago. Doesn't seem... Some people get lucky and... Maybe those flies are a sign that something's buried underneath the soldier. Flies, I promise I'll free you. Nice to see you, Mr. Spencer. It's been a long time. Hi, Mizuki. I locked myself up in the lab for a while to discover new solutions. Did it work? Yes, the results are right here. Although some of them are very practical, I focused more on developing interesting outside-the-box solutions. Cool! I love fun inventions. This yellow one, for example, is an alarm clock. Pour it into a glass vase, and in the morning it creates tiny sun-shaped bubbles that when they pop, play a musical note and wake you up. That's so exciting! It wouldn't be of any use for me, though. I already have insomnia. Do you have something for that? I do! This white solution. It metaphysically transports you to snowy mountains so cold that you'll become numb and sleepy. How is this even possible? Well, I'm exaggerating, but if you pour this on anything, it freezes without dying. Unfortunately, it doesn't work on humans or animals yet. Simpler organisms are fine, though. I love it. I'll take it. As always, it's free for you. Please, take a bottle. <laughs> Now it's a real ice flower. At least as long as the potion has an influence. Barbara! Look what I found for you. I'm sure you'll be surprised. It's impossible. Did, did you really find this ice flower for me? I guess I ruined your only reason to go to the South Pole. Are you kidding me? I didn't want to go anyway, and now we have a great reason. <laughs> I want you to have some 
anything you want. Just pick it up and it's yours. Okay, thanks. Even though half of my plants dry and die, I still want to try my chances. I wanted to know how this device works since I was a kid. Doesn't seem very... Looks like it's been a while. Some people get lo Doesn't see- I wish I could get small enough to get it. Smell the pina has lured the mouse out of his tiny house. It went straight in. I hope I won't flood the poor mouse's house. So those were the instant seeds of bloody mint. My mother used to make a drink using those when I was a child that would daze me for a few hours when I drink it. I didn't think I'd see anyone down here. I'm stuck in here too. I got in somehow and I can't find the way out. And if I try to go further, a strange force doesn't let me. Why did you come in here in the first place? My wife and I have just moved into the town. My wife's a counselor. She asked me to identify all the hideouts in the region. What a coincidence. I was the first to visit her new office. She is very intelligent. I'm sure she must have had a good reason for the strange request. Yes, she always solves the most difficult cases by linking it to things that no one else would think of. I found this place because of her suggestions. I'm glad you found me. That strange force and the headache would have killed me. Hi. Could you please give that pot to me? I think I have one piece of it. You want to see a word? Would you please let me have that copper pot? Some small taps of the dirt pot. Perhaps he gets up? Oh, I'm sorry. I just wanted to make you get up. I had never taken something out of someone's hand like this. Shameful. I won't be able to- <sighs> My head! It feels like it's going to explode! I have to get out of here! 
It looks like someone wanted to tell us about this historic conflict between the frogs and the giant worms. I wonder if the frogs in the lake know something about this. Hey, frogs, do you hear me? Do you understand me? We don't shout. Of course we understand. Don't you know we are army of frogs? I saw an engraving on the wall in the sewers. It seems to suggest you have something to do with the dark force in the sewers. You guess right. That's an engraving that I read about. The super frog. So can you help me fight the dark forces? My head feels like it'll explode after just a few seconds with them. The real power of the dark forces is in the mind. You mean the giant worm was so strong that even the army of frogs couldn't defeat it? Obviously, you have no idea about the creatures around you. In our army, 30 frogs chose to retire after that battle. 21 of the frogs were unaffected by magic, and on the sea slowly featured bats. And three of us died during the battle. What can I do to help you back onto your feet? I really need your help. Superfrog must be in some way to say. Only he can develop a magic jar of magic words. Yes, that's all of the magic words. Other words are to get it out of magic or an overdose. Let me pick it up before someone puts magic in this one. Would you chew these leaves? Just don't swallow. I apologize for not telling you that this herb would numb your mouth. But it feels good, right? Like you've gone to a different world. The first bite I took, I wanted to spit it all out. But I'm a good moose and ate the whole thing. No! Oh, I think I'm growing wings! Hey, you can add that to your odd experiences! I'm flying! Ugh, it's so sticky. I still feel awkward about how I acquired this. Now it's like what my grandmother used to make essential oils. Did that snitching narc tell the doctor to the police? Hey, you there, hiding in the trash can. Who are you? Are you the super frog? If I'm right, show yourself. Tongue this long could only belong to a giant frog. Could you come out? I need you. It's an urgent matter. All right, all right, I'm out. Are you happy? What do you want from me? The army of frogs has sent me to ask you for the magic words. That army still exists. I thought they lost half their numbers in the battle against the giant worm. Yes, they told me about the battle. Apparently, it was gruesome. Anyway, that's all in the past for me. Take a look at my magic menu and choose whatever they can use. I don't see a menu. You will only see it when I want you to see it. A magic menu is not something for just anybody to see. Okay. Would you please read an effective spell for me if you have one? Hmm, I 
have a feeling that this magic is going to be useful. If you told me you could pour words into a jar, I would have thought that's crazy. You may choose your desired magic from my special magic menu and I'll read it for you. When I sing the magic words, go and give them to the army of frogs. They'll give you an enchantment that summons me inside your head whenever you need the help. What can I do to help you back on... And here are the magic words. Hundreds of frogs are cheering in my head and shouting, Fight the giant worm! I'm a little afraid that my head's going to be a battleground. Good thing the sun doesn't shine from underneath this. What's this snow monkey doing in the sewers? Look at that tent! I wonder who's hiding my name tag inside. Hey! Wait! Don't escape! Something funny happened. I was looking in the sewers for the monkey and I found your husband. Oh, he always finds himself in the most bizarre places. <laughs> I thought he was on a business trip. Looked like he had been lost and couldn't get out of there. He said the forces didn't let him go forward. So you got him out of trouble? Well, thank you. I guess he'll be wearing my ear out with his stories tonight. <laughs> The Olympic body has gotten so hot again. The only thing left from the scarecrow is this tiny hole. Let me open up the hole a little bit. This hole must lead to an empty space down there. Maybe if I direct some light to this hole, something happens. Does 
doesn't seem... Let's do that after I'm sure he wants to keep his mouth shut. I can't believe my eyes. A snow monkey in a city sewer? The council was right then. I wouldn't believe if I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. Why don't you say anything? I'm sure you can understand me. Why are you holding your tongue back? Hey, did you steal my name? Did you? Answer me. Monkey, you think I don't know how to make you talk. The numbing solution should be working in a moment, and you will be able to keep your mouth shut. What? Oh, what did you put in the water? See, you talk. What did you do? I can't focus. What do you want from me? How did you find this place? Listen, I know everything. If you return my name, I won't tell anybody about this place. I can't. Uh, what name? I don't know what you are talking about. I don't have any desire for anyone's name. Don't lie. Do you want me to come back with city agents? No, no, wait. I... I'd like to negotiate. It's hard work stealing names. Too hard to give them up so easily. What did you do? Listen, I know everything. I can't. Uh, what? Don't lie. No, no. There are some valuable things to add to your collection. Look, there are the names of some of the bravest men in the past century. Oh my god, how did you find these? These are those soldiers who were killed with a baseball bat in World War II. See, I have valuable things. Do we have a deal now? Sure. Wow, seeing these names is heavenly. To the tent! The Morikel knew something. Do you have anything to do with her death? No, no. I was in love with her. She was so pretty. Prettier than you, even. But why did you steal her name? I don't know. When I see a name I like, I have to snatch it. It's been like this ever since I was a baby on my mother's back. How did you come across her names? I've been watching you since your time in high school. I came to you to find Moriko's name. I was so attracted to it. How did you find the code for the safe? Couldn't remember it myself. I made you forget the code. Moriko's cats don't help just you. I visited her first in the woods. Why did you pick up my name too? I saw it sitting there, so I snatched it. To be honest, I didn't even have a second to look at it. Then could you give it back, please? Certainly. A deal is a deal. Um, what was your name again? My name? It started with an M. Mm, let me think. Don't rush, you'll remember. Mm, middle. Oh god. Did I have to forget again right now? We have all the time in the world. All the time in the world. True. Even if I stay here for days, no one will notice. Okay, so while you try to remember, I'll go make some tea. It'll calm your nerves. We can get to know each other better, right? It's been a long time since I talked with someone for so long. The monkey knows a lot of strange things about the owners of the names he's collected. And about me too. Sorry, but I'm not saying what things he knew. They're not very fond memories. He suggested that I go to the abandoned mines I always see in my dreams. He also packed his things and followed along for a little. The sewers aren't safe for him anymore. And he took this picture before he left. I expected to see an old man, but it looks like he was actually just a lonely snow monkey. Even though I'm here alone at night, I don't feel afraid at all. I'm going to be here till morning and bury all my troubles right here. When I go back home, things probably aren't going to be great again all of a sudden, but I'll at least have my name. Something that is only mine.